Can you remember past lives? Being in the womb? What's your earliest, earliest memory? Mine is of sunlight streaming in at our living room window and making specks of dust light up like fireflies. I must be very young because I'm lying in my mother's arms and the light shimmers and glimmers off the liquid in the bottle from which I'm drinking. It's not milk, though. There's no taste in this memory, so what it is that shines golden in the light I can't remember. On Friday nights, my father would go out for a drink with his brother, and me and my man would switch off the TV and we'd talk. Her stories were all about her valley's childhood. Of the dog that killed the chicken, the cockerel that nobody had the heart to eat. Of when, during the miners' strike, her dad stole all their Christmas presents from Woolworths. Of when the bad boys cut out poor Neddy the donkey's tongue. And one about a woman who was bitten by a dog when she was pregnant. She gave birth to a baby with a dog's head. The women smothered it. One Friday we were talking about early memories. And I told her about the dust and the sunlight and the bottle. My mum didn't believe me. No, Chris, you can't possibly remember that. You were much too young. You must have dreamt it. No, ma'am, I didn't dream it. How do you know? Because the bottle was different. How different? It was square, not round like they are now, and, and the, the markings were etched in the side, and the top was different too. A strange expression came over my mother's face, and she took my hand and led me into our tiny kitchen. Then she got up on a chair and took a box down from the high shelf where we kept all the stuff we never used any more. Inside the box was old yellow newspaper. Inside the newspaper was a baby's bottle. So now, when I go somewhere new, somewhere I've never been before, and I get a shock of recognition, a sense of place and geography, I wonder, is this déjà vu, or am I remembering a baby's bottle?